Well, as I know I'm going to be unbeaten for the second episode in a row, I just thought I'd spin the wheel for you now, just to get it out of the way, just so you guys are really satisfied that the wheel's been spun in every episode. So, should we just go ahead and do it? There we go! Run the intro! My name is Magster and welcome to episode 2 of the Wheel of Misfortune. We got a bit fortunate and managed to win both matches in that first episode. But today we've got Brighton in the Premier League and Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup. Remember, in the Carabao Cup, we're supposed to reach the quarterfinals. So we've got to win both of these matches to avoid spinning the wheel and to avoid annoying all of the fans. So... Yeah, no pressure then. Right, so here is the team we're going to be taking to Brighton. It is Pope in goal, Trippier, Sharp, Botman and Lewis at the back. Bruno Gomez, Longstaff and Joel Linton in midfield with Jacob Murphy on the right, St. Maximin on the left and Isaac up front. The fact that we have to win this Carabao Cup game is the reason why I have dropped the likes of Willock Alm and Almiron and Matt Target actually. the reason That's the reason why I've dropped those boys just to give them a little bit of the rest so I can play them in the cup match that is midweek. Just trying to rest them up because we're going to have a very condensed schedule due to the World Cup. Uh, but yeah, everything else is completely unchanged. So hopefully it's another win. So here we are at home yet again. We've got three home matches in a row. Two in the league and then one in the Carabao Cup. So we, we've got to take advantage of that. That is a very defensive formation by Brighton. That's like seven at the back. That is ridiculous. How in the world am I going to break that down? I mean, in the league, if we manage to win this, we're in the top three uh, quite comfortably and one of the only ones to have won all three of their first game. So, fingers crossed, we can actually do that. That would be incredible if we can. Trippier with the corner early on. Oh, I thought that we were going to get a goal in, like, the first two minutes, which would have been wonderful. But Joel Linton managed to get the ball. And now we're just building it back up. Bruno Gomez has got it on the halfway line. Puts it into Trippy on this right-hand side. And the corner's kind of dispersed now. But we still have an opportunity here. As they manage to get the ball back. And now they're going to try and counter-attack us. If we, we just need to make sure that we can get everyone back in position. So we can defend this. And maybe go and counter-attack ourselves. But they're building up nicely. It's into Trossard from distance. Nick Pope with an unbelievable save there. Nick Pope to the rescue. For uh, Newcastle there. That was a brilliant save. And a brilliant shot actually. By Trossard. That was incredible. In 0.03 XG that would have been. That's insane. I, I was hoping we were going to have the first opportunity. But McAllister. And it's over the bar. This is not a good start for us. They've started off really, really well against us. And I, and I don't like that. I'm just going to put that here. I don't like that. So can we change that? Trippier into Jacob Murphy. He loses it. But Trippier with the ball. Oh, and Isaac heads over. That was a lovely ball by Trippier. Trippier is incredible on this game. I mean, he's incredible in real life as well. But he's incredible on this game. And we're trying to take advantage of that by putting him on a fullback attack. Uh, just to enforce the fact that he's up there as much as possible uh, when we are attacking this. Isaac's dispossessed him. Isaac, it's in. It's a bit lucky. It's come off the goalkeeper. But Newcastle won. Brighton nil. And Isaac, with his press, uh, pressing at the forefront of our defence there, gets the ball off of Lewis Dunk, goes past. He chips it. Actually, I thought it came off the keeper, but he chipped it. And it went into the back of the net. Newcastle 1, Brighton 0. And that's exactly what we needed. Because they, with that 7 at the back, I was a bit concerned that we wouldn't be able to break it. We have broken it. So now all we've got to do, do is stop them from scoring and breaking our defence. But unfortunately, that poor pass there has opened things up. As it's into Trossard. I think that was offside. I do think that was offside. It's going to a VAR check. Come on, make sure it's offside. I, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about it. It's disallowed. It is offside. Trossard was offside. But that's warning signs at the end of the day. We mucked up slightly. And there are early warning signs here that they're going to be able to score past our defence with a single run. But we go into half time. 1-0 up. Beautiful stuff here against Brighton. 
Uh, I'm delighted at the moment. Keep that positive mental attitude in this squad. We're heading into the second half as Danny Welbeck and March are now on the pitch. And they've changed their formation. They've gone to a 4-2-3-1. They understand that they need to go more attacking past this point. They can't afford to go defensive. And I'm hoping that'll actually open the doors up for us. If we dispossess them, which we have done... Isaac's picked up the ball here. It's into Joel Linton, into Bruno Gamerez, but Gamerez loses the ball again. But Botman, the legend, gets the ball back. And we, Bruno Gamerez given the ball away again. And we're just constantly having to build up from the back. Bruno Gamerez finally manages to get it down into Trippier. And hopefully we can build from here. Gamerez into St. Maximin. St. Maximin on this left hand side is trying to conjure up an opening. Joel Linton was dispossessed, but Ma Maximin gets it back. Maximin on a run. Maximin, what a run. What a goal. Alan St. Maximin gets us the goal. It it's a beautiful goal. He just kind of got sick to death of all of our players just losing the ball immediately and decided to go completely on his own. And he did. He pulled it forward and he struck it on his right foot and pulled it straight into the top corner that is a beautiful goal there and it's newcastle 2 brighton nil and i'm not gonna lie i'm rather confident i think we have got this game done and dusted as i say that they've got a highlight i don't like this adam lalana it came off McAllister. offside offside just we call it offside we're all happy all camps are happy yep no it's awarded okay Wonderful. Right, let's make a few changes from this then. Jacob Murphy's not having the best of games, so Almiron's going to have to come on. Bruno Gamerez is not having the best of games either. So we're going to have to put Sean Longstop further back and maybe put Elliot Anderson in here as a deep line playmaker. And I think those two changes are all we're kind of going to make for now. That could change, but I think that's all we're going to make for now. What we are going to do is we are going to lower the tempo and start time wasting just a little bit um we're gonna start pressing on that right hand side but that is a win that's another win a hundred percent record continues with newcastle it's newcastle two brighton one that's a great win and again i don't have to spin the wheel this is genuinely wonderful i'm completely enjoying myself because I, I don't need to spin that wheel it's brilliant and we go into the cup game with basically nothing holding us back which is amazing and with most people playing we are in the top three we're guaranteed to stay in that top three this has been a brilliant start for us with newcastle and bear in mind we made zero signings this is just the squad as it is what's a start for us and we've got the carabao cup next against bournemouth at home no parameters to stop us from playing our normal squad apart from fitness issues but let's get into it let's see what team we can conjure up Hey, Will. Isn't this nice that we get to spend this time together? Because I keep winning, you see. And when I keep winning, it just kind of means that you're pointless for this series. Do, do you want to get spun again for the fun of it? Do you know what? There you go. Do you feel relevant now? No. Good. Right, so here is the team we're going to be taking to Bournemouth. It is Darlow in goal with Trippier, Sharp, Burn, and Target at the back. Bruno Gamerez, Willock and Joel Linton in midfield with Almiron on the right, Fraser on the left and Isaac up front. As you can see, we have made a few changes. Not too many, not too many drastic ones, but we made a few because we're cool like that. And we decided, wouldn't it be fun if we made a few changes? I did just want to see if uh, Karius would be better than Darlow, but not really. So... This is the team we're going to be taking. Hopefully we win so I don't have to spin the wheel. Oh, new graphics. I like these graphics. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen I haven't seen any graphics like this. So they're playing a five at the back by the looks of it. A very narrow formation, whereas we're playing quite wide. So I say narrow, but they have got wing backs. But it's going to be an interesting one, said least. I think our team is actually much better than Bournemouth's, even with our changes. Although I, yes, I, I'll admit I have decided to play a lot of my main 11 because I don't want to lose. So if they do get knackered, tough. They're getting knackered. 
Uh, as we've got the ball here, we're building it up quite nicely. We phrase out on the left-hand side. Is he going to be able to cross it in? He tried to, but Bournemouth managed to get it out. Only as far as Trippier, though. Trippier on this right-hand side into Almiron, who puts it back into Trippier. Over the top, Isaac, but it's over the bar. Isaac's doing really well so far. I'm really enjoying Isaac on this game. It's a shame that Wilson is injured, uh, as he always is. But Isaac, I am much enjoying on this game. I think he's class. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he just seems to be anywhere and everywhere and just seems to score. He seems to score headers, seems to score like uh, goals with his feet. He, the one that he scored last time was brilliant with just his press pressuring. As time is ticking away, I don't like this. Can we get... Can we? I was about to say, can we get a highlight? We're going to get a highlight. Here we go. Bournemouth are trying to build it up, but I think we're going to get a counter-attack here. I know I sound arrogant, but it's because I am. So, Lowe's, <laughs> Lowe's got the ball here. Puts it over the top into Smith. Smith puts it over to Zamora, and Trippier gets the ball. See? This is why I'm so relaxed, guys. Because I just know that these guys are just really, really good. Almiron, Bruno Gamerez. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I thought we were going to get a goal there. But no. Unfortunately not. <sighs> oh, there's another highlight. I was just huffing and we got another highlight. The game's listening. I swear the game's listening to me. Trivia into Shah. Shah's going to put the ball, hopefully, into somebody. He puts it into Bruno Gomez. Into Isaac. It's over the top. But Travers manages to get the ball. And they're going to have to build it up again. They put the ball over the top. Burn manages to get it. We've just got this really nice way of playing. I'm really enjoying... The way we're playing with Newcastle. It's just working so well. Joel Linton, maybe from distance. He tried it. Oh, Isaac. This is why I love Isaac. Isaac taking that opportunity. Pouncing on Travers. Trying to force a mistake. And he did. He forced a mistake. That's two games on the bounce now. That Isaac has managed to force an opportunity by trying to force a mistake and he forced one by Travers by putting that pressure on and Isaac gets the goal it's Newcastle 1 Bournemouth nil, and yet again that wheel is not going to be spun I am much enjoying my time with Newcastle ah oh, and we're early into the second half and we've already got a highlight Bruno Gamerez playing it into Trippier who loses the ball that's uncharacteristic for Trippier but it doesn't matter anyway because they've got no attackers. So we're fine. Willock. Go on, Willock. Oh, Willock into Almiron. Don't know what the hell that was. Uh, but now they're building it up from the back. And they're going to try and force an opportunity. We are only one goal ahead. Uh, so I would prefer it if we got another one just to be sure. As th for whatever reason, their defender mucked up there. Almiron, Isaac. I thought that was a good save. It is a good save. And it is cleared by Bournemouth. But we're just creating all these opportunities. We've got a lot here. Uh, apparently, it's telling us to work the ball into the box. But I'm kind of just trusting the system right now. We are playing a certain way. We are winning. And yes, we might be able to get a few more goals by changing it. But it also might work the reverse way and actually cause us more issues. So I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. Because we just keep piling on that pressure and keep attacking them. Fraser managed to win the ball back. Target's now got it into Joel Linton, into Fraser, who loses the ball, unfortunately. That's a bit annoying. And they're trying to build it up. And they're building it up nicely. Solanke is through, but Darlo manages to save it. It, it was deflected, don't get me wrong, but he managed to save it. Safe hands by Darlo. And again, I feel safe. I feel completely fine. We're in the 60th minute. Uh, we should probably change Bruno Gamerez. And I'm going to change Bruno Gamerez for Elliot Anderson. And we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to put a central attacking midfielder in here. Um, and yeah, we're kind of going to maybe play a little bit more defensive. Maybe a ball winning midfielder. Just to have a little bit of a more defensive too as we're pushing somebody forward. Um, as far as where Willock, maybe take Willock off for Sean Longstaff. Uh, again, simple stuff. We're fine. And then our next substitution will be taking off somebody that is actually going to be playing in the next match. Probably Isaac. Do you know what? Right? Rather than that Sean Longstaff one, we're going to put Chris Wood on the, to the pitch as a target forward on attack. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Chris Wood is now playing his first game properly, I think, for Newcastle. 
Uh, as Bournemouth have the first highlight since we've made those substitutions. It's risky taking off the goal scorer, but I do believe in this team. As Fraser's got it now, he puts it into Wood, who has dropped back, puts it into Almiron. Almiron chips the keeper. It's in the back of the net. It's Newcastle 2, Bournemouth 0, Chris Wood with the assist, Almiron with the goal. And yet again, I feel really comfortable in this job. Just the wheel just doesn't need to be used. The wheels here is a prop, guys. It's not. I did say in the last episode I was going to go unbeaten the entire season. I stand by it. I'm going unbeaten for the entire season. And there's nothing you guys can do about it. We're in the 75th minute now. They've got a corner. It's put in. Solanke's got it. And it's in the back of the net. It's 2-1 to Newcastle. 15 minutes to go. There's no way. No way in hell that Bournemouth are going to manage to turn this around and win this match. It's not going to happen. Not in a million years. I still feel really, really comfortable. And for those wondering, yes, if we go to penalties and we lose on penalties, I will have to spin the wheel. It's a harsh reality, but it's a reality nonetheless. Right, so we're in the 85th minute. We're going to make a final substitution. And I don't really know what to make, really, as the only people who are, who are struggling is Dan Burn. Now, I might take off Trippier, actually. Trippier is one of our mainstays and he's going to be in this squad for the next one so we're going to take him off for the final few minutes get Mancudio on uh kind of keep it as it was really maybe change him to a support role and get Alma on a bit more attacking uh, so we've got this three pronged attack uh we'll make Shah just defensive and just keep that back line safe for those final few minutes as i said i feel quite comfortable here we go with two one Zero, and we win again. Newcastle 2, Bournemouth 1. That is four out of four wins we have now. They scored their only shot on target. We dominated that game. And we're through to the, uh, through to the next round of the Carabao Cup as well. We're through to the third round, which is essential, really, because we need to get to the quarterfinals, apparently. So we had to win that. Right, so here we are for the third round draw. There's still some good... There's obviously some good teams in here, but there's a few weaker ones, like the likes of Salford, Port Vale are still in here, as well as like Charlton. So let's see who we get. We get West Ham. Oh, that's tough. And we have to win that as well, because that's the third round. We need to win this and another one. We get West Ham. West Ham are a tough team. They're currently seventh in the league. They have beaten Leicester and beaten Nottingham Forest. But lost to Bournemouth. I mean, we beat Bournemouth, so that play, might play a factor. But you can see Skamaka's playing really, really well for them. And Emerson's managed to get two assists. So it's going to be hard, that game. Really is going to be hard. Where does that fit in in the calendar? That fits well late in the calendar. So we're all right there. Uh, that's way in the future. But in the next episode, we have Crystal Palace and Fulham again. Two winnable games if we get two wins there that's going to set us up perfectly for this west ham and city leicester villa combination that we're about to deal with crystal palace and fulham in the next one we're going to win it so we don't have to spin the wheel do you want me to spin it one more time because i feel like i feel like you guys right you've come here for the wheel right and you're thinking oh bragster's gonna lose over and over again and he's, he's going to have to spin the wheel so many times. And I've just disappointed you. So we're going to spin it for fun. So let's spin it. What's it going to land on? Oh, it's landed on nicknames. Oh, it landed on nicknames, did it? Well, what a shame. You won't find out what nicknames is. Because I'm going to win every single game from here on out. I, I, I mean that. I mean that. We are going to remain unbeaten. For the rest of the season if you have enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button to comment your thoughts down in the comments down below maybe try and guess the few what a few that we have actually span on the wheel even though we haven't lost and we're not going to lose so it won't matter but maybe you can guess in the comment section down below what those punishments are and if you're new here please do subscribe so you do not miss an episode and i shall see all of you in the next video see ya Two episodes down, two times I don't have to spin the wheel. It really sucks to be you.